When we have a set of observations, it is useful to summarize features of our data into a single statement called a descriptive statistic. As their name suggests, descriptive statistics describe a particular quality of the data they summarize. These statistics fall into two general categories, the measures of central tendency and the measures of spread. Sounds fancy, right? Don't worry. I'm going to break it down into simple, real-world examples so you can not only understand it, but actually use it in your project. Let's dive in. So measures of center are metrics we used in data to figure out what is typical or normal. They answer the question, where is the middle of my data? Think of it as finding that sweet spot in a big mess of numbers. The three main measures of center are the mean, or what we call average, the median, and the mode. Let me break down all of all this with simple examples that you can relate to. Let's start with the mean. You probably know this as the average. It is when you take all the numbers, add them up, and divide by how many numbers there are. Here's an example. Imagine you run a delivery company and you're checking the delivery times for five orders. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and 50 minutes. Add them up. When you add 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50, it gives you 150 minutes. Divide by five because there are five deliveries. That's 150 divided by five, which is 30 minutes. So the average delivery time is 30 minutes. But here's the thing. What if one delivery took three hours? That's 180 minutes. Suddenly, your average jumps to something much higher, like 58 minutes, and it doesn't represent most of your deliveries anymore. That's the downside of the mean. It can be skewed by extreme values or what we, or what we call outliers. Next up, you have the median, which is the middle value of your data when it is sorted from smallest to largest. Let's go back to our delivery times example. The middle number here is 30. So the median is 30 minutes. Now, what if that one crazy delivery time, 180 minutes is added to the mix? The sorted list becomes 10, 20, 30, 40, 180 minutes. But guess what? The median is still 30 minutes because it ignores outliers and focuses on the middle of the pack. Pretty handy, right? Finally, we have the mode which is simply the number that shows up the most. Let's say your delivery times are 10, 20, 20, 30, and 50 minutes. The mode is 20 minutes because it happens more often than any other time. The mode is great for spotting trends. If most of your deliveries are consistently 20 minutes, you can proudly advertise a typical delivery time is just 20 minutes. Okay, now let's connect this to the real world. Why should you care about these measures? Here are a few examples. Customer satisfaction. If your average delivery time, that is your mean, is 30 minutes, but your median is 25 minutes, it tells you that most deliveries are actually faster than the mean suggests. So you can use that to market your service better. Second thing is identifying problems. If your mean is much higher than your median, you might have outliers, like a driver who's probably always late. Facing those outliers can drastically improve your business. Number three, spotting trends. The mode tells you what happens most often. For example, if 20 minutes is the most common delivery time, you know most customers are happy with that speed. To wrap it up, here's a recap. The mean gives you the overall average, but can be affected by outliers. The median shows you the middle value and is great for ignoring extreme cases. The mode highlights what happens most often and helps you spot patterns. By using these three measures, you get a clearer picture of your data and can make smarter decisions. Whether it's improving delivery times for your business, managing customer expectations, or solving problems. That's it for this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tips on data analytics. And let me know in the comments which measure, which measure of center do you use in the most for your project. I'd love to hear from you. 
See you in the next one.